हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बूट स्ट्रैप फाइव वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज बूट स्ट्रैप हाउ टू डाउनलोड बूट स्ट्रैप हाउ टू एड बूट स्ट्रैप टू अवर वेबसाइट बूट स्ट्रैप टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेटिंग रिलेटेड क्लासेस बूट स्ट्रैप टेक्स्ट साइज रिलेटेड क्लासेस बूट स्ट्रैप टेक्स्ट कलर रिलेटेड क्लासेस बूट स्ट्रैप बैकग्राउंड कलर रिलेटेड क्लासेस एंड bootstrap heading related classes in this video tutorial i would like to discuss bootstrap text alignment related classes we understand how to align text to the left center right or justify in its container okay you can see that here at the desktop we have my dash website folder i open it inside my dash website folder we have default.html page i right click on it say open with the notepad you can see that default.html page is open in the notepad it has the title bootstrap demo i minimize it i right click on default.html page say open with the google chrome you can see that default.html page is open in the chrome its title is set to bootstrap demo let's understand bootstrap text alignment related classes first we have text dash start it is used to align the text to the left in its container guys for example if i go here and say opening p and closing p inside that i put the text paragraph text i say file save go to browser and refresh paragraph text is displayed i am going to take this paragraph and paste down if i say file save go to browser and refresh one more time paragraph text is displayed if i come here and use the class of text dash start if i say file save go to browser and refresh paragraph text is getting displayed on the left side only why because by default the text is aligned to the left side so the, if you write text dash start you don't find any change okay if i copy this and paste down say file save go to browser and refresh you can see the paragraph text is on the left side i want to display this paragraph text in the center for that we use the next class that is text dash center class it is used to align the text to the center in its container for example if i change this to text dash start to text dash center if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see the paragraph text is getting displayed in the center if i go to customize more tools and developer tools if i mouse over on this paragraph the second paragraph you can see that highlighted area indicates the paragraph area or the container guys so in the container paragraph text is getting displayed on the left side if i move the mouse over the third paragraph you can see that the paragraph text is getting displayed in the center in its container guys right i hope you guys are clearly understanding next we have text dash end class it is used to align the text to the right in its container if you want to align the text to the right side for example i copy this paragraph and paste down file save go to browser and refresh paragraph text is getting displayed in the center if i have to display it on the right side we use text dash end class if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see the paragraph text is getting displayed on the right side so text dash start text dash center text dash end fine okay if you carefully observe here i have done dash star in between pair of square brackets that indicates optional guys if you want to use you can use otherwise need not for example here star indicates sm md lg excel sm means small screen device and above medium screen device and above LG means large screen device and above. Excel means extra large screen device and above. So if you want to align the text to the left, center or right, depending upon the screen size, then you will be using these shorthand notations, guys. SM, MD, LG, Excel. Like for example, if I copy this line of code and paste down, if I say here text dash SM dash start. So what I am telling is in small screen device 
it should get display on the left side if i say here text dash md dash center i am telling in the medium screen device it should be center line if i come here and say text dash lg dash end i am telling in a large screen device and above it should be displayed on the right side if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it is getting displayed in the center because my screen is actually a medium screen device so if i come here and reduce the screen size so if i reduce the screen size automatically it will fit on the left side because i am telling that in a small screen device it should be displayed on the left side so that is how you can use the sm md lg mnemonics guys fine okay next we have if you want to justify the text in its container then you have to take help of the css text align property guys with the value justify for example i am going to copy this content from here and come here and say opening p and closing p and i paste the content here that's the lorem ipsum text if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see the paragraph is displayed and if you observe on the right hand side we have zigzagness right we can remove this zigzagness with the help of text align justify so here i simply use a style attribute and i say here text dash align css property value i set justify semicolon if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that from the right hand side you can see zigzagness is removed right so that is the use of text align justify css property guys so we understood text start text center text end text align justify so that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap text alignment related classes in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial